What if someone told you everything that you believe is a lie? How would you respond? Angry, confused, or completely disregard that statement? In my short 26 year old life, I have learned one thing. Artists tell the truth. Call it science or call it a divine intervention. Artists have this unique quality to absorb information within their surroundings or internal mental burrow and produce art. Without getting too lofty and abstract, I wanted to highlight this fact with one of my favorite works from the 2019 Whitney Biennial, made by artist Tamashi Jackson. Her work is titled Third Party Transfer and the Making of Central Park, Seneca Village, Brooklyn, 1853-2019. This body of work explores the politics of displacement and memory. Seneca Village is only 30 years old and was one of the many communities that were completely destroyed for the creation of Central Park in 1853. The combination of a law called eminent domain and slander from the media convinced the public that the displacement of these communities was not only necessary but needed. The New York Times depicted Seneca Village as an N-word village, excuse my French, filled with squatters living in shacks. Recent investigations show that this village was actually an anomaly for multiple reasons. It was the first village of free black citizens in New York. Only a decade, slaves were emancipated. For a little context to explain the level of wealth in this community, during that time, in order to vote, you need to own at least $250 worth of land and be a New York resident for three years. Of the 1,000 freed slaves in New York, 10 of them lived in Seneca Village. It was a mixed community with Irish and German containing integrated schools and churches. And this was a big deal, especially due to the racial tension and violence downtown. The remains show that this village was in fact not a bunch of squatters living in the countryside, but an established community that was completely wiped out. Tamashi's exploration into these events was depicted as a storefront overhang, with each shingle constructed from archive images and contemporary images. Jackson tells a story through these images, each chosen with specific intention. This geometric and abstracted collage speaks how displacement rings true today in the Black community through gentrification. This same strategy is being used under the guise of third-party transfer system, currently at NYC. Jackson's excavation of history shows how it does, in fact, repeat itself, and most times to our detriment. Not just in Black communities, but in our Indigenous and Latinx communities. Looking at the larger picture, generational wealth amongst Black communities are significantly lower than white communities. All this is not by mistake, but intentional through systemic injustice. When I first saw Jackson's work, I knew nothing about Seneca Village or the third party transfer system and the rich legacy that it, that it told. But when I did, it opened up to an entirely new legacy that I could step into. Artists will continue to tell the truth. How history is told and who remembers it is so pivotal, especially now. With state-sanctioned police violence towards the BLM movement, COVID health concerns being ignored by the elite, and the most recent domestic terrorism at the Capitol, how you remember this history is key. At this point, I'm assuming you're also an artist. I can't wait to see what story you tell. That's all I got for now. Stay tuned for more episodes next week.